my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the mca second semester subject machine learning as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 5 short questions covered in long questions next unit 5 top 5 long questions first important long question is explain the working of the expectation maximization algorithm with an example expectation maximization m algorithm the expectation maximization m algorithm is used in machine learning to find hidden or missing information in data and estimate parameters of a statistical model it is widely used for clustering gaussian mixture models gmm and missing data problems working of m algorithm the m algorithm works into main steps repeatedly until it converges one expectation step e step estimate the probabilities of the hidden variables using the current parameters basically it calculates the expected value of the missing data two maximization step m step update the model parameters to maximize the likelihood using the expected values from the e step it finds the best parameters that fit the data based on the estimated hidden information this e step m step cycle continues until the parameters stop changing significantly i e the algorithm converges example clustering heights of people Imagine you have a mixture of heights from two groups men and women but you don't know which person belongs to which group one initialization start with a guess for the average height and variance of men and women two e step for each person calculate the probability of belonging to men or women based on current guesses three m step update the average heights and variances for men and women using these probabilities four repeat keep repeating e step and m step until the estimates stabilize at the end you have estimated mean height for men and women probability for each person belonging to each group key points to remember m is useful when data is incomplete or has hidden variables it always improves likelihood with each iteration it may converge to a local maximum not always global memory tip think of m like guessing and correcting one guess hidden info two update parameters repeat until it fits perfectly next important long question is to discuss gaussian mixture models gmms in detail and their role in clustering gaussian mixture models gmms a gaussian mixture model gmm is a probabilistic model used to represent a dataset as a mixture of several gaussian normal distributions each gaussian represents a cluster in the data unlike simple clustering methods like k means GMM considers probabilities not just fixed assignments key idea in GMM each data point belongs to multiple clusters with different probabilities each cluster is represented by a mean mu variance sigma superscript 2 and weight pi GMM is flexible and can model clusters of different shapes and sizes working of GMM GMM often uses the expectation maximization M algorithm for training. One initialization. Guess initial values for means, variances, and weights of each Gaussian. Two expectation step E step. Compute the probability of each data point belonging to each Gaussian cluster. Three. Maximization step M step. update the means variances and weights using these probabilities four repeat q 
Keep repeating E step and M step until the parameters stabilize. Example, clustering heights and weights. Suppose we have heights and weights of people from a mixed population of adults and teenagers. A GMN can model to Gaussian clusters. One adult's cluster mean height tilde 170 cm, mean weight tilde 65 kg. Two teenagers cluster mean height tilde 150 cm, mean weight tilde 50 kg. Each person gets a probability of belonging to either group instead of a strict yes-no assignment. Advantages of GMN Can model overlapping clusters More flexible than k-means for different shapes and sizes Works well when data follows a Gaussian distribution Memory tip Think of GMM like mixing different clouds Each Gaussian is a cloud and the data points float in multiple clouds with some probability. Key role in clustering GMM is used when clusters are not clearly separated or you need soft assignments of data points to clusters. It is widely used in image processing, speech recognition, and customer segmentation. Next important long question is 3. Explain the basic concepts of reinforcement learning with a practical example. Reinforcement learning, RL, basic concepts. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns by interacting with an environment. The agent tries to maximize rewards by taking the best actions over time. Unlike supervised learning, RL does not require labeled data, instead, it learns from feedback, rewards or penalties. Key Concepts 1. Agent, the learner or decision maker. 2. Environment, the world in which the agent operates. 3. State, as a representation of the current situation of the agent. 4. Action, a choices the agent can make. 5. Reward are feedback received after taking an action. Positive reward is equal to good, negative reward is equal to bad. 6. Policy, I strategy that the agent follows to choose actions. 7. Value function, measures how good a state or action is in terms of expected future rewards. Working of RL 1. The agent observes the current state of the environment. 2. It chooses an action based on its policy. 3. The environment responds and gives a reward and a new state. 4. The agent updates its policy to maximize future rewards. 5. Repeat steps until the agent learns the optimal strategy. Practical example, self-learning robot. Imagine a robot learning to navigate a maze. Agent, the robot. Environment, the maze. State, current position in the maze. Action, move up, down, left or right. Reward, plus 10 for reaching the exit, minus 1 for hitting a wall. Goal, learn a path to maximize total rewards. The robot starts randomly moving gets feedback from rewards and gradually learns the shortest path to exit. Key points RL is used when learning from experience is required. It is widely used in games, chess, Go, Pac-Man, robotics, recommendation systems and autonomous vehicles. The agent improves over time by trial and error, balancing exploration, trying new actions and exploitation, choosing the best known action. Memory tip. Think of RL like training a pet dog. You give it treats, rewards, for good behavior and no treat or mild punishment for bad behavior. Over time, it learns the best actions to get maximum treats. Next important long question is. 4. Describe Bayesian networks. How are they useful in decision-making? Bayesian Networks Basic Concept A Bayesian Network, BN, 
is a graphical model that represents probabilistic relationships among a set of variables. It uses a directed acyclic graph, DAG, where nodes represent random variables, events, factors, or conditions. Edges represent causal or probabilistic dependencies between variables. Each node has a conditional probability table, CPT, that quantifies the effect of parent nodes on it. In simple words, a BN shows if this happens, then how likely is that in a structured, visual way? Key Features 1. Compact representation of joint probabilities 2. Allows reasoning under uncertainty. 3. Supports updating beliefs when new evidence appears. 4. Useful for decision-making and predictions. How it works. 1. Construct nodes for each variable. 2. Connect nodes with edges showing dependency. 3. Assign conditional probabilities to each node. 4. Use Bayes' theorem to compute the probability of outcomes given observed data. Example, medical diagnosis. Imagine diagnosing flu based on symptoms. Variables, nodes fever, cough, fatigue, flu. Dependencies, edges flu fever, flu cough, flu fatigue. Conditional probabilities. P, fever vertical bar flu is equal to 0.9. P. Cough vertical bar flu is equal to 0.8. P. Fatigue vertical bar flu is equal to 0.7. If a patient shows fever and cough, the BN can calculate the probability of having flu using these conditional probabilities. Use in decision making. Helps doctors diagnose diseases under uncertainty. Helps business analysts predict customer behavior. Supports risk assessment in finance and insurance. Helps robots and AI systems make decisions based on observed data. Memory tip. Think of a BN as a smart flowchart where every node asks, given what I know, how likely is this next thing to happen? It's like predicting outcomes in a choose-your-own-adventure story using probabilities. Next important long question is 5. Discuss the use of machine learning algorithms in sectors like manufacturing, retail, transport, healthcare, weather, and insurance. Use of machine learning, ML, in various sectors. Machine learning, ML, is widely used across industries to analyze data, make predictions, and improve decision making. Let's look at some sectors. 1. Manufacturing Use predictive maintenance, quality control, supply chain optimization. Example, sensors in machines collect data, ML predicts if a machine will fail soon, reducing downtime. 2. Retail Use customer behavior analysis, product recommendations, inventory management. Example, e-commerce sites like Amazon use ML to suggest products based on previous purchases and browsing history. 3. Transport Use route optimization, traffic prediction, autonomous vehicles. Example, ML predicts traffic patterns and suggests faster delivery routes for logistics companies. 4. Healthcare Use Disease diagnosis, drug discovery, patient monitoring. Example, ML algorithms analyze medical images, X-rays, MRIs, to detect diseases like cancer early. 5. Weather Use weather forecasting, natural disaster prediction. Example, ML models predict rainfall or cyclones by analyzing historical weather data, helping authorities prepare in advance. 6. Insurance Use risk assessment, fraud detection, personalized policies. Example, ML evaluates customer data to determine insurance premiums and detect suspicious claims. Key benefits across sectors 1. Better predictions, anticipate events before they happen. 
टू कॉस्ट रिडक्शन सेव मनी बाय ऑप्टिमाइजिंग प्रोसेसेस थ्री पर्सोनलाइजेशन ऑफर प्रोडक्ट्स और सर्विसेज टेलर्ड टू इंडिविजुअल नीड्स फोर डिसीजन सपोर्ट हेल्प मैनेजर्स एंड प्रोफेशनल्स मेक डेटा ड्रिवन डिसीजन मेमोरी टिप Think of ML as a smart assistant for every industry. It learns from past data and suggests the best action. Whether it's predicting a machine failure in a factory, suggesting your next online purchase, or diagnosing a patient, ML is behind the scenes making smarter decisions faster.